It's going from NBA to overseas to G League, back to the NBA, back to overseas. Learned a lot about the game, learned a lot about people, and it just helped form who I am. I'm Hilton Armstrong Jr., player development slash assistant video coordinator. Barnes guarding Armstrong, leans in, Barnes plays him well, Armstrong plays him better. I grew up in Yonkers, New York, first couple years of my life, and then I ended up moving to Peekskill, New York. My father played basketball. I used to go to his games when he was older, I will play in his little leagues. When I had my opportunity, I see all these guys in the city playing at the Rucker, and I would just go down there and follow him and just try to imitate with ball handling skills. Being from New York, you just had to try it, so it kind of made my path. Got Spates and Armstrong, these guys playing big minutes, or important minutes, I should say, here in game one. When they told me I could be in the lottery pick, I was extremely surprised. It just caught me off guard. I was completely just off of my own world, just playing for the fun of it. The New Orleans, Oklahoma City Hornets select Hilton Armstrong from the University of But then once they finally called my name at the 12th pick, I got up, shook the commissioner's hand, and from then on, it was all good. Throughout my career, from the beginning to end, bouncing around through 18 different teams was stressful. It was fun. It was very hard to deal with at times. Looking back on it, there's a lot of things I could have done. I could have taken it more serious. I could have worked out more, worked on my offensive game. And at the same time, I wouldn't be where I am or who I am today without all that exposure to different cultures, different teams, different coaching styles. I learned so much from the hectic life that I have, and I'm very appreciative of it. Lost it. Hilton Armstrong found it. I would give a shout out to Ryan Atkinson. I reached out to him and tried to get a job with the Santa Cruz Warriors. Sports as Armstrong gets the bucket the I got foul. a job with the Golden State Warriors without me even knowing. I'm so grateful that my first job is here back in the Bay Area. My wife, Annie, is from Santa Cruz, so she was ecstatic to come back here. And for me, it's great because I have a good connection with most of the people here. I played here in this organization. First year, I won the championship, something I couldn't get while I was playing. Last year, I was assistant video coordinator, and this year I got promoted to player development. Winning that championship last year was unbelievable. Watching those guys on the court do what they do, that's something I tried to do for 14 years, I couldn't do. So to actually be there firsthand, behind the scenes, and see how much work and dedication is truly into a championship team. In the future, I would just like to keep going with this coaching. For me personally, I think it's great that I did play. It's a different kind of understanding, things that you can see being on the court, how to handle certain situations, how to carry yourself as a professional and help these young guys out to be gentlemen on and off the court. You can't coach everyone the same way. Everyone is different. You have to reach out to different people in different ways. Being around so many different types of people definitely prepared me for this position. I learned so much from the hectic life that I have, and I'm very appreciative of it. The competitive nature is just something new and exciting that you have to go to and still bring that same kind of fight everywhere you go. I'm very grateful for even having an opportunity to make it, learning what I've learned while I was playing, playing with the guys that I've played with. It was a great journey. Open up your eyes. It's more culture, understand people differently, and learn more than just basketball from playing basketball.